Hello everyone. Today we will be solving equations using product property and quotient property of logarithms. So I actually have placed this property here, this first two product and quotient property. There is a separate video that talks about this um, property. I will put the link of that video in the description box below. On the third box right here, this is the general way of changing exponential form to logarithmic form. We're gonna use this in solving for uh, this problem that we have up here, there's also a separate video on how to change exponential to logarithmic form and back to exponential form. Okay, so let's jump into the first example right here. So we have log of x plus 25 to the base 6 plus log of a to the base 6 equals 3. Since this is a plus right here, we are supposed to use the product property. So we're going to multiply this to numbers here. So this would come out to be log of that's going to be multiplying the these two numbers right here so that would be 8 parentheses x plus 25 and then that is to the base 6 equals 3 so I multiply these two because you have x and y, x and y will be multiplied together so the next thing that we are going to do is to distribute the um, 8 to both terms inside the parentheses and this would come out to be log of so log of that's gonna be 8x plus 200 to the base 6 equals 3 using the um, uh, changing this logarithmic form to exponential form, this would come out to be 6 to the power 3 is equal to 8x plus 200. And so if we have a 6 to the power 3 is 216. So this is 216 equals 8x plus 200 and so we can subtract both sides by 200 divide this by 200 um, or subtract this by 200 so we are left with um so i'm just going to show the work over here on the side so that would be um 216 minus 200 is 16 equals 8x so then divide 2 from both sides divide uh, sorry divide 8 from both sides divide 8 and so our x is 2 okay so i'm gonna put this in a box so our x is 2 now let's check using the calculator here to see if um, 2 would make sense on this um, problem right here so let's set this up first so that would be log base and that is a 6 is the base our x is 2 plus 25 and then plus log base of um, the base is 6 and then um, the argument is 8 when I enter this it should be equal to 3 and that is equal to 3 so that means our x value is Correct. Now let's have the second example here. So that is this um, equation right here. Since this is a minus, we are going to use the quotient property. Okay, so then we can go ahead and rewrite this to be log of, again, since this is a minus, we divide the argument. So that would be 12. So I have set it up already, that is quotient property, 12x divided by 3 to the base 8 is equal to 2. And so from here, I can simplify the 12x over 3, that would be 4. So this is log of 4x to the base 8 is equal to 2. So then I can go ahead and use this property to change this logarithmic form to exponential. And that would be 8 squared is equal to 4x, 8 squared is 64, is equal to 4x, divide both sides by 4, divide this by 4, so we can cross 4 out, so then our x is 16, so our x right there is 16, and let's check this using the, using the calculator over here by plugging in the x to the 
um, equation. So that would be the base that we have there is um, 8, and then that's 12 times 16. So that is because it's 12x, so 12 times 16, and then it's a minus. And then the base again is 8, and then the argument is 3. So when I hit equals, it should be equal to 2. So let's see if they would match up. And the answer right here is a 2. So our x is 16. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!